Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into JSY Talks Football. This is your Norwich City vs Leeds United match preview, playoff semi-final, first leg. Before I get into any of that, if we can do the nice stuff first, make sure to smash a like on this video, subscribing to the channel if we're new, hitting that notification bell. Big up to everybody that's subscribed, liked, shared, all that sort of nice things. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers now. We've hit the 600 mark, so big up to each and every one of you. It is much appreciated as always. So we all know it's the big one on Sunday. Make a break for Leeds United season to get us back into the Premiership. It's a 12 o'clock kickoff live on Sky, live from Carrow Road. Delia Smith will be there watching as always. So, Norwich City and Leeds will both be continuing their bid for promotion as they square off in the first leg of the semi finals. Leeds United currently finished third this season, and Norwich City finished sixth under Wagner. When the playoffs come round, it's a census that the team in form have the best chance of securing promotion regardless of their finishing position. Leeds are hoping this is not the case, having lost four of their last six matches. Last week's 2-1 defeat to Southampton is the third game they have failed to win at Ellen Road, scoring just one goal. Since the return after the international break, Leeds have just kept one clean sheet and conceded a total of 15 goals in eight matches. Norwich, on the other hand, have posted two draws in their last two games at home. You would have to go back to the 5th of November, for the last time, the Canaries suffered a defeat at home. 15 matches now, they are unbeaten at Carrow Road. Norwich ended their regular campaign with a 1-0 loss at Birmingham City. Extending their run of games without scoring more than twice in a single game in their two previous. In their two previous meetings, Leeds won 3-2 at Carrow Road. We were 2-0 down, I can remember that game. Second half, Chris Mavels scored two and it was an own goal by Norwich. In the return fixture at Ellen Road, it was a 1-0 win for Leeds United and Patrick Bamford scored the winning goal. I'm just going to get through a little bit of team news regarding Norwich and Leeds. Wagner has confirmed that Norwich trio, Liam Gibbs, Anel Hernandez and Ashley Barnes will all miss Sunday's game and Norwich will make a late decision on Shane Duffy as he was arrested on Monday evening for drink driving. In-house disciplinary will be dealt with in-house. Leeds' is team news. Patrick Bamford has been ruled out for both legs. And if Leeds do get to the final, it's a massive doubt that he will play. It looks like he's going to be ruled out for the season now, knee injury. On the other hand, Dan James is pushing for a return. He has been in training. It probably will be just on the bench. But at least it's an option to have off the bench, especially with losing Paddy the remaining games of this season. So what's your thoughts, guys, on the playoffs? What are you thinking? Are you confident? Are you unconfident? Do you think we're going to win? Get your score predictions in, team lineups in, all that kind of nice stuff in the comments below. I will get back to each and every one of your comments, as always. So I'm just going to present some statistics and I'm going to give you my predicted lineup. So these are just some stats that I just pulled up. Um, Current form, they reckon 1.59 for Norwich, 1.96 for Leeds. This is their current games, running games, which was Leeds drew 0 0 with Sunderland. We lost to Blackburn at home. We just bet Middlesbrough 4 3. Then we got absolutely stuffed by QPR 4 0. And then we lost to Southampton on the final game of the Championship season 2 1. In Norwich's hand, they got a 2-2 draw away at Chef Wednesday, a 1-0 win at Preston North End, a draw at home to Bristol City, a 2-2 draw with Swansea City and a loss on the final day of the season away to Birmingham City. But at home, they're very good. 15 games unbeaten now. Leeds United is 23% better in terms of points per game. So this were their record in the championship, 21 wins, 10 draws, 15 losses. And for Leeds United, 27 wins, 9 draws, 10 losses. From form, and with the overall at home away, Leeds should be favourites going into this game. But we know it's not written on paper. And that anything can happen in the, champion, in the championship playoffs. It's a roll of the dice. And there's just some team trends here. You know that you can read superb stuff from Norwich City home where they are currently unbeaten in 15 games. Can they go another game without defeat? 
Leeds United defence will have to be at their best today if they're to stop Norwich City from scoring. The home side have scored in the last 13 games in front of their own fans. They have failed to score in two home matches this season. Norwich City will be looking to keep up the momentum today against Leeds United, having lost just one game from their last five. They have won one and drawn three. And in the last five matches for Norwich City, three of those games have ended with both teams scoring this season. 29 matches, 63% of all matches included involving Norwich, I've seen both teams to score last There you go, 3-2 there. The teams have met 17 times in the last several seasons, based on the data we have. Out of 17 previous meetings, Norwich City have won four matches, while Leeds United have won 8.5 matches between them have ended in a draw. Norwich City is in a very good home form, while Leeds are performing very good at away. Previous matches between Norwich City and Leeds United have averaged 3.06 goals, while both teams to score has happened 71% of the time. So, yeah, there you can see head-to-head -head statistics. Eight wins for, for Leeds, four wins for Norwich. So that's that. So I'm going to stop sharing that screen. And this is what I would give you as my predicted lineup. I've gone with the strongest squad that I think is possible to Daniel Farker. So I have gone for Ilan Meslier in goal, Archie Gray at right back, Joe Rode underneath and Ampadu at centre back, Junior Furpo at left back, Jaden Anthony and Gruev in the middle, Wilfred Nonto, Virginia Rutter and Chris Somerville. And I've gone for Joel Perot up front because I know Bamford's out. I would love to see Matteo Joseph start up front for us, but that will not happen. And it will be going with the experienced Joel Perot. So that, in my personal opinion, I think is the team that will line up against Norwich City on Sunday. But please do get your predictions in, your team lineups, and let me know if you change anything or what, what changes would you make if you could. So that would be my team that will play Sunday and it will probably play the return leg on Thursday. I do believe regarding any injuries, I think that personally will be the squad that Daniel Farker We'll go with on Sunday. As we know, <clears throat> in playoffs, and I'll just give you a few little stats here. Leeds playoff run appeared in the EFL playoffs five times, and we've never failed. We failed to seal promotion in any of those times. That's what worries me. Leeds, Norwich, on the other hand, have had two appearances in the playoffs. Have won one. And they've lost one. So, guys, what's your thoughts on Sunday? Are you nervous? Are you zen with being in Championship next season? Or are we really thinking we're going to do this? Me, personally, I am going to go for a 2-2 draw at Carroll Road. And the return leg, I'm going to go a 1-0 win to Leeds United. That's my personal opinion, but please do get your comments in below. Get your score predictions in below. Get your team news, get your lineups, put them in. I will get back to each and every one of you that comments on here. Make sure we're smashing a like on the video, subscribing to the channel if we're new, hitting that notification bell so you never miss another watch along. I will be covering the playoffs, both games on Sunday, Leeds, Norwich, Southampton, West Brom. I will be doing both games live on JSY Talks Football with a few guests, as always. I will be back also tonight to do the Doncaster Crew game. And we have got a playoff special tomorrow, half past one, where there'll be a few on panel to dig into a few little bits and pieces. But big up to you all for watching. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. We're marching on together. See you all again, son. If I don't see you before, have a great rest of your weekend. Big up to you all. Take care. Much love. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.